Hey guys, I'm LB, and I'm rather embarrassed, because I've spent over 10 minutes here, and I realized that since my end condition is with the platform here, I don't actually have to be on the platform at all when I do this last move, because I can just walk up the stairs onto the platform jump here, which means that I act as a third way to press a button. I am an idiot. Alright, let's- let's- let's clear all this. Reset all of this, please. That was weird. But anyway, the physics have been freaking out in multiple ways here. Uh, between episodes. Like, I've seen all sorts of strange things happen with the physics, like, this cube... ...knocked into a cube that was there and landed here at one point. Like, I'm telling you, Demon Arisen, the games and physics don't go well together with me. But anyway, let's put that there. There we go. And then, let's, uh, let's extend that, for instance. See, the interesting thing is, when this is extended, it- it freaks out the cube, but then if I retract it... Look at this. Perfect. It lands perfectly. But anyway, uh, what we really want to do is... This, and this, I believe. I haven't tested this, I'm just... now realizing... There we go, so I can do that much. And then all I have to do... ...is this. Yep, that was the entire puzzle. <laughs> and it took me so long, because I thought that I had to be standing up here in advance... ...and do everything while standing up here, but I can just jump up here from the stairs. Yep. That's my fault. Right. Oh, that was... weird. Uh, does this not turn off? Okay, I guess it doesn't turn off. Like, you could stand up here! There's a place for you to stand and everything, I was standing up there... earlier. Strange... Yeah, like, there's a spot to stand there, you would think it would turn this field off, but apparently it doesn't? Right, well anyway, let's continue onward. To another puzzle. This is some interesting music. It's nice. Very nice music, for a very nice scenic area. Right. Let's check this one out. What do we have here? Fire. That turns on the gunk. This sets it ablaze, right? Yep. There we go. we have here? So we can do that. Why though? Hmm. Am I missing something here? Cause I can do that. And then... Can't I just do this? What's the trick? I have to do it again. That's the trick! Alright, well that makes sense. What would be... the best way to do that? Let's move this... let's move that up there. Launch it to there. Can we get it gunked up in advance, though? Hmm. I think we just want to launch it and give it a boost, right? What is this for? Is this for holding it in place, perhaps? I think... I think we're just extending the fuse. Okay, I think- I think this is simpler than what I had in mind. Move this- let's move this back over here. So let's retract that. We'll do that. Then we want a second cube. We'll do basically the same thing. And then we'll move this one to catch it on fire. We'll get rid of that. And I think this should work. Yeah, that's actually moving faster than I expected. There we go, it transferred. And perfect. Alright, so what's the trick? 
Don't have to do it a third time? That was weirdly easy, why? Okay, I'm not sure why that was a thing, but that was weirdly easy. Because we've done that before, we've done this exact thing before. Well, not exactly, but we've done something similar where we extended the fuse. We've done it at least twice before. Huh. Strange. Very strange. Hmm. Alright, so. We've done that. Oh, well, they close and turn red behind you so you can't go back in. We've done this. Done this. We've done the one on the other side over there. Now we just have this last one over here before we head up there, I believe. What do we have in here? That is our goal. To lift this up while we're standing on it. Gotcha. And... Let's see here. Huh. <laughs> Not even close enough. Interesting. So. Looks like this is where we want to get the cubes from. Let's go ahead and put these here in advance. And... these in advance. Put that there. Put this one on here. And then... Perhaps we wanna... juggle it like this. That seems reasonable, right? Then I can do that. Put it on this button. And... that should be it. Is this another weirdly easy one? What the heck? Why- what? Another weirdly easy one. That's bizarre! What is up with the difficulty curves in this game? Like, I know I got stuck on the last one, but that last one that I got stuck on was- was still easy, I just... was being... stupid. Huh. But I mean, these are easier than that, even. Easier than that, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure... I'm not sure what's going on here. Still wonder about this door. Cause the art, the artwork for the game had doors that were labeled with numbers and stuff. Obviously they didn't go with it, but this seems to be like a relic of that time. Right, well anyway, let's head over here. Are we gonna have to make a choice now, or later? This might be the choice. Emma? Oh, it's another one of these. Look at it. It's growing! Building itself. We have to leave now. I've called the military- the Extraction team. They're sending a helicopter to get us out of here. Okay. Still not sure what those are about. We still don't know if those are people or not. Like, our character seems to have assumed that they're people trapped in stone, but I'm not convinced. Very muted colors now. That does not bode well for us. Here again. This is familiar. Ooh. Well, this is... certainly alarming. Are we going up or down? Because there's an up direction. That star is- the stars up there are kind of blurry for some reason. Doesn't look like there's anything else around here. I fear we may be approaching the end. Down it is. Wait, what? What? Another- what? Loading screen? What? Why? Strange. This is ominous. The abyss.
Wow. Look at the visuals here! This is very, very striking. It's like monolithic. This is our plant. Our souls. Reconnect us to ourselves. Our children. We will energize and leave this place. We will all survive together. Us and man. See, Emma? They're saying they're gonna leave. All we have to do is help them out, and they'll leave. Like they were coming towards the Earth, and you guys thought it was a crash course collision gonna happen, but they were gonna stop right before they hit the Earth and say hello to us. But before they stopped, you blew them up into pieces, and the pieces fell to the earth because you blew it up. And, uh, now they just want to leave. They really, they really just want to leave if we help them. I think this is a story about man being afraid and just killing off anything that comes near. Interesting. What does this do for us? Moves that. Gotcha. So we can capture that. We can stand up here if we so desire. Mm hmm. We eventually want to hit that, right? I think I'm gonna do this. Right, that's not enough, so we need this to be in position first. Is there a way I can make that happen in a reasonable manner? Do I need to... Hmm. So what's the deal with this? Does this help me right now? No. Interesting. Because if I stand here... Yeah, this lines up all right. What are these for? That's not particularly helpful. That also doesn't seem helpful. We've got these here. These clearly would seem like they would be bounce pads, right? Hmm. Will the green cube land on top of that? No, it goes underneath, right, I forgot. Uh... Am I missing something down here? What does this do? Oh, right, that- okay, that makes sense. This is the one button I hadn't pressed yet. Oh, that was... That was rather disappointing, actually. Uh, hmm. Because we want it to land there, right? Or on there, right? Will it- if I drop a cube on here when these are clear, will it- will the cube stay there, I wonder? Answer is a resounding no. What if I do this? Uh... Physics? <laughs> uh, yeah, the answer is physics in that case. So what if I do... Uh, this? Oh my goodness! That was... interesting looking. Yeah, okay, that's clearly not intended in that case. And I'm obviously still missing something in that case. Oh, this can move! I- yeah, duh, didn't even notice that! <laughs> okay, forgot about that, duh. Duh, duh, duh. I think the change in the... the textures has really thrown me off. That's- that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Come on. There we go! Perfect. So then... P 
Perfect. There we go. Now it's simple and straightforward. I was just stuck because I didn't notice that could move and I forgot to press that button. There we go. Oh yeah, about that. No, that was the wrong one! Oh well, I guess it doesn't matter too much, right? Wait, why did I want to do this? Maybe that's for... Maybe that's for later. There we go. Let's undo this for now, because I think that's for later. What the? What? Did I crush a cube? Oh, I bet the cube was still back there and I crushed it. That sound scared me. <laughs> okay, then. There we go. Now get in there. Thank you. And then we basically just want to do this, right? Let's, uh, do this again. There we go. Let's keep on hold that button down. We can do this. Right, it'll cross. Actually, we didn't need to. Doesn't matter. Whee! There we go. And now we can drop into here, presumably. Yes. What a fascinating design. Aren't these lights normally red? This one's blue. Huh. Where's all the red light coming from, then? That's clearly a blue light! And then a bunch of red light is like- that's the shadow of the light, so the red light is above it somewhere? Maybe it's that door off in the distance emitting a bunch of red light? That must be it. It doesn't look bright enough, but sure. Certainly very striking. Why, hello there. So that's what that does. Or we can use it as gunk. Interesting. That does line up, sort of, the way I expected it to. So I think this is another incident where we're gonna have to set this on fire and keep it on fire, and then send another one to extend the fire. Yes. We might even need this one, perhaps. I think for now, though, we'll want to do something more like opening this door. Oh, perfect! That lines up exactly the way I wanted it to. Crap. <laughs> I clicked the wrong spot. Let's try this again. Come on. There we go, perfect. Right, what do we have in here? Ah, but just bounce that to get up. Ooh. Right. Alright, well this is simple and straightforward enough. <laughs> can't make the bounce pads... icky. Can't stand on this anymore now, that's the problem. Hmm. Maybe we need to do something like that. Not missing anything else, right? Yeah. Then let's get this set up. And I hope this works. Quickly now. This is not quickly enough.
Oh no! Well, okay then. Hmm. I have a few ideas. None are particularly good though. I almost feel like I need to rush up here and do stuff, but that doesn't seem right. That's what I tried first, and it didn't seem to work out. That's not gonna work. Definitely need the cube to go over to that door, because these won't get close enough. If I do that, it doesn't actually reach the door. The thing is, how do I launch this... ...after it burns? I feel like I'm missing something. And these can't launch a cube to here, so that's not gonna work. Burn if it's retracted. Don't actually know. Can it actually get down this far, though? Let's actually just see what happens if I do this. I'm sure it's not going to work in the slightest, but I'm curious. It should just burn out before it reaches anything interesting, right? Oh, it actually stops there. Huh. What the? What? 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 You guys are seeing this too, right? This isn't just me, the, the fire is... splitting? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why does that happen? That's bizarre. Well, anyway... <laughs> oh, man. You know what, let's get that gunked up, why not? <laughs> Let's try this and see what happens with this. Will it burn these while they're retracted? No. Alright, that's... useful to know, I suppose. happened here? Why'd it stop there? What? Is it because I didn't fully gunk it up? Am I missing something here? I really feel like I'm missing something here.
because I feel like I want it to go past, but also set this on fire, and then we can push the cube, and re-gunk up the cube while it's on fire again, or whatever. Or we want to maintain the fire somehow, or... The issue is, how do we get a new cube? Like, I feel like I'm misunderstanding something here. What if I send the cube back from whence it came, right? Will that help at all? What? What? Excuse me! What? Why, though? What? What is- Why is that a thing that happens? Why does it bounce back off of nothing? There's literally nothing there, and it just bounces back? What? Well, now I am just totally and utterly confused. I Is that intended? Is that part of the solution? Demon arisen! Explain, explain! No idea what I'm doing, man. Uh, excuse me. Let's get this gunked up again. There we go. Right. I, am I really missing? I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like there's something I'm missing, or something I'm not considering. What's in this black shadowy spot here? Nothing, it's just a black- black wall. No, there's nothing I'm missing. I've been told that I will kick myself when I get this one, but I don't know why. I want to see if this bounces back again. That would be rather entertaining. Hmm. How close are we to the end? Because... I don't know if I should stop here, or if I should keep going? What's gonna happen? What's it gonna do? moment now. And it bounced back again. <laughs> it's so weird, man. I guess it'll just do that on loop forever. Hmm. Right, well. Let's just start this over again. Got that, we can start the fire. 
once we have the fire... Then what? Because we can't keep the fire unless we have something standing on these buttons up here, but if I'm standing on one of the buttons up there, then I'm not able to send another cube through. And once the... once the gunk burns off of it, there's n there's no way to get gunk on it again. Well, I messed that up in multiple ways. Would that work, though? Wait, it burned off of both of them? Okay, sure, I guess that's the thing that happened. Hmm. Let's- let's try this again. <laughs> there goes that fire again. Right, what am I doing? <laughs> It's a long time to get up here. By that time, everything is on fire. Come on! What is up with this bounce pad, man? I can't stand on it, for some reason. What is up with my aim, or like... My movement. It's my fault, not the bounce pad's fault. Right, well, let's try this again. Oh, and I gotta get these... I gotta get these gunked up again, because of course I do. And it's the stupid cables in the way. Oh my gosh, come on! <laughs> At this point, I'm just getting a bit frustrated with the fact that the things I'm trying to do are... like, not working out with this little area here. Alright. Let's see here. We've got this in position. Ready, aim, fire! Literally. Well, now I've done it. Now I've really done it. So this is on fire now, right? That's at least... something. But now there's literally nothing I can do at this point to keep this fire. Because if I walk off of here at all, I'm gonna have a bad time. Go forth, cube. Slide even though you're not slippery. Yeah, that's the issue. Hmm. Alright, well, this has gone on long enough. I think- I think I'll have to figure this out between episodes. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!